What's up, Pisces? I am back with another one just for you, baby, okay? Let's go ahead and get into this. So we already got one card out. Four of Swords. Okay, can I get three more cards? Oh. Oh, okay. Got the full card. Full card. Oh. Page of Swords. Huh. Interesting. Oh, okay. So, it seems that someone that you that has been laying dormant for quite some time is, and I know you've heard this before, but they're they're going to. I don't want to do this message. I really don't. I don't even think I want to. I'm already in this and i'm just like so over it like whoever the fuck this is if you're not gonna come out then don't come at all at this point this is absolute horseshit how the fuck are you seriously taking the fuck this long with pisces to just come in just just cross watcher you need to just come in this is horseshit honestly i'm so sick of these goddamn readings that are coming out about and it's the same person it's the same fucking energy it's so weird i have the four of swords here the full card the page of swords taking action someone that was dormant coming back again for a leap of taking a leap of faith that wants to take action i can't deny that this is a true message but my god it's just constant. I don't know if this is like just a karmic cycle that Pisces collective is just going to have to accept that all of you have someone coming at, or something that's just, I don't, this person is bullshit. And then the fourth card came out as two cards. Someone deciding they don't want to be struggling and, and doing this anymore. All this struggling fucking energy and shit. They don't want to do this no more. They want to come in with this cup of love. Because this came out reverse with the cycle. They have the cycle is what they've been going through with the 10 here. And they want to come in with this cup of love for you. But I'm just saying, when the fuck are you going to come back? Look, look, look. Look what else came out. I can't make this shit up. The judgment card. This person's coming back. <laughs> this is such a... This is... When are you going to come back? <laughs> You know, when are you going to come back for Pisces? Because it's like, I talk to y'all like y'all are my friend. And it's like, at this point, it's just like, I'm really trying to get, not get personally involved in the sense of like, I, I'm, I'm upset that this cross watcher, this person is not coming in for Pisces, but it's like, they're not yet. They keep taking their fucking time. This is what I'm about to do. I'm about, when the fuck are you just going to do it? <laughs> when are you going to do it for my Pisces? I don't like the way you treat my friend. I'm just saying, this is, come on. You're not going to be coming back to the Pisces that you think that you are going to be coming back to. You've made Pisces wait too long. They've endured a lot waiting on your return. It hurt. It's just <laughs> unbelievable. I, is there anything else? I, I don't want this to be too long of a reading, honestly. If you feel like this is for you, go ahead and get a personal reading, whether it's for me or anyone else. Can you just confirm that this is you and just, you know, so that way you know what you need to do. Sure enough, we have this three of cups here. Crossing the energy of that three of cups is a nine of wands. It's this ending, this ending. They want this ending to turn into something good. Can you please give us anything else? If you need a personal reading, my email's in the bio, but go, like I said, go to whoever you feel led to. Clarify this for yourself. Excuse me. And if you're a tarot reader listening to my channel, you know too. You know too. It's, it's, it's repetitive and it's not, it's not a stale energy. It's more of this person's repetitive thoughts, repetitive nature, repetitive cycle. Like, drop a 100 in the comments if you know you know. And it's just, it's a lot to read this energy. It's exhausting. 
So the three of cups here, then we got the king of cups because you guys shared really good times. Maybe you guys would drink together and stuff like that. Not in a belligerent alcoholic way, but yes, you guys would go out for drinks, go out to lounges and just go out in general. Or maybe this person had a bar inside of their house and you guys had a lot of conversations and movie nights and stuff like that around in that situation. Now, that's what I'm picking up. This person wants to bring this back with the night so this is movement and what are they moving towards towards pisces right after that is another night in faster movement so the other person this one not other person this this one is oh do you have two people coming towards you <laughs> you better not <laughs> just I'm looking at the cards now. I'm like, hold on. You might have two people coming in here. Because this is either the same person, what they're seeing with this three of cups and this knight of cups. And then because this is another knight pursuing you as well, but faster movement. I, you have two people coming towards you. Because I'm seeing it now, the imagery right here. That connects with what just came out. That connects. There could this could be two people, or it's one person, and this is what like they're going through mentally, like in their head, over like replaying the good times, thinking about you at night, wanting to go. That that makes them want to go faster to you, that then give you their cup, right? But up here, this is very similar. The stance for me, it's the stance, because in order to take a leap of faith, you do have to take action. But this could also be two separate people. One that's coming to take in like, to be like, this is what I want. And like be very kind of aggressive, not obviously in any kind of violent way, stockish way, nothing like that. Okay, so let's just X that out. But you know, a little bit more, taking more initiative and all of that, right? Whereas the other one is just going to come in and be just taking a chance in general. Taking a chance, even though you might reject them. Both of these people are risking that. But this one is more of a romantic, maybe hippie or like mindset. Um, no offense to my hippies because bitch, I am one too. <laughs> um, and then this one is kind of, the, even the personality could be someone that is more, just more like, listen, we belong together and this is why. And then and like just to the point, okay, where's the other one's like, I miss you. I miss you so much. Oh. You made me feel so good. You know, like, <laughs> too I'm telling you, this could be, or this is just in general, going to be the duality of their approach with you. Because, I mean, think, I mean, there's so much duality to all of us as far as our logic and our mind. I, I guess I'll, yeah, let's, last messages. Last messages. Who could this person be? What I see here right now is, um, hmm, a lot of cups. Got the they are either another, I think they might be another water sign. Another water sign. I mean, full card, that's, I mean, a lot of times that's interpreted like with the Aries, with Aries and like a fire sign. But this is a lot of water. Yeah, a lot of water and air. A lot of water and air here in general. All right, final messages. Thank you so much for these messages. But I was about to do that. Oh, God damn. All right. Final messages. Again, if you need a personal reading, my email is in the bio. If you like it, it's because I know that it resonated for you. If you comment, absolutely love the comment. Drop comment. Drop comment. Let me know what's going on. I be loving when y'all talk shit. Oh, my God. The Aries said no, bitch. You talking about me because the emperor just came out. So this is, if there's two people, then one is a water or air sign. The other one is a fire sign. Now we have the Leo card after the Aries confirming that there is a fire sign involved here. Okay. And that's it. I should have not shuffled to get what was on the bottom there. I might just pull more. I just don't want to take long with this reading because it's annoying. It's a little bit different though. It's fine. I'll, I'll take it. Let me take a sip of my, my sparkling water. What's your favorite sparkling water? I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I'm just saying, what's your favorite sparkling water? Drop it. Drop it in the comments. If you even drink it. it might, one of y'all might be like, oh, fuck no, girl. I don't drink none of that. <laughs> All right, so next card out is the Ten of Cups. What I'm reading here is possibly the intention and the timing. Um, more more the, t the intention of what this person wants with you. They want this new cycle with you. They want this ten, this ten of cups. I mean, this is very rejoiceful energy, getting together, basking in the fruits of your connection, the good times. Right after that is the emperor card. I mean, we already have full card here. So again, this is either water, water, air, or fire. The strongest signs in this reading are water and fire. I mean, this came out as I was talking about it. It was like as if the emperor was like, no, 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 no. I want you to remind them that this is me. And it's like, why? Why, bro? Why do we need to do that? Just come in. Just re-enter our life if that's what you want. You know, Pisces wants that. <laughs> or maybe not even just wants it, just we're okay with it. Like, just... If you're going to do it, do it. We're just tired of hearing about it. You know what I mean? And I do mean we. I do mean our. Because you're part of my community. Even though this doesn't apply to me. It's just like, come on. This is a lot. All right. Next card after that is the Leo card. Significant of the timing. I don't know if you've been hearing in, in other readings. Honestly, even that Leo season is about to be lit. I don't know what the fuck is going on in Leo season. But when I tell you there's going to be so much change, you're going to be finding soulmates. You're going to be finding new friendships, like lifelong friendships, forging lifelong connections with um, in romances, love and work. It's really coming. And this is one of them. OK, and so this is a Leo card. This person could be a Leo as well, which is a fire sign. And then right after that is the seven of um, seven of cups. And instead of this where there's a bunch of options and you don't know which option is best and you're constantly trying to figure out, all right, which one is which? It's going to put an end to this. This person, when they re-enter, is going to put an end to this. There is going, there's commitment here. This per, this is going to end the options. You searching. The search will be over. That's, yes, that's, that's, that's the message. The search will finally be over. All right. <sighs> Anything else? Because I'm about to wrap this up. What are we, 12 minutes? I didn't think it was going to last this long. Within a minute of this damn reading, I was like, fuck this. <laughs> so, um, two of Cups, this is about union. This is about union. Crossing the energy of just that one is the Page of Cups. It's going to start with a small gesture, a small text. A small, some sign of small gesture is going to spark the fire back up between you two. Very obvious here. Is there any other messages? No? All right. That's your message. I wish you well. If this is your message, then this person, I, the purpose of this message coming out is because they want you to know this. And maybe they can feel you pulling away. They, they are understanding there has been a large passing of time. They are also anxious. But in my head, my personal opinion as the tarot reader, not as the cards, it's just like, why aren't you coming in? If you're a cross watcher or something, it's like, why are you doing this? Like, I just don't, I don't just like, ugh. anyways, I wish I could, I mean, I could just read and figure out what your blocks are, I suppose. What are the blocks coming in? I'll do that in the next reading then. The next reading is going to be, what are the blocks with this, with whatever love is coming in past or new? What are the blocks? Because you're in this waiting period and I would like to know the purpose of that waiting period for you. Okay? All right. Love you. Bye.